Welcome student. Today we will learn about volume and surface area of some three-dimensional figures. Now let's first of all look at the meaning of volume and surface area. Volume means the capacity. For example, volume of a Coke can is its capacity to hold cola in it while surface area means the measure of how much area is exposed by the figure. In this lesson we are going to learn about volume and surface area of cone, volume and surface area of triangular prism and finally volume and surface area of pyramid. Let's first of all look at the volume of a cone. Volume of a cone is basically one third of the product of the area of its base and the measure of its height. That means the volume of a cone is simply 1 by 3 times area of circular base times the height, which can be written as 1 by 3 times pi r square times h, where pi r square is the area of the circular base while h is the height of the cylinder. Over here r means the radius of circular base and h means the height of the cylinder. Now let's see an example for this. We need to find the volume of the given cone. Over here in this cone the height is equals to 21 inches while the radius of the base is equals to 6 inches. So the volume of a cone will be simply 1 by 3 times pi r square times h. Now as r is 6 and h is 21, so plug in these values in the given formula. We get our final answer as 791.28 cubic inches. Now let's move to surface area of cone. Surface area means the area exposed by the figure. Surface area of a cone is basically the area of the curved part plus the area of the circular part. Area of a curved part is known as curved surface area and is given as pi times r times l where l is the slant height and is equals to square root of r square plus h square. Here r is the radius of the circular base and h is the vertical height of a cone. So that means the total surface area of a cone will be curved surface area plus the area of circular base. Now we know that curved surface area is simply pi times r l while the area of a circular base is simply pi times r square. So we get the total surface area of a cone as pi times r times l plus r, where l is the slant height and is given by square root of r square plus h square. Now let's try this question. Here we need to find the curved surface area of the given cone whose slant height is 7 inches while the radius of the circular base is equals to 3 inches. And we are aware that curved surface area of a cone is simply pi times r times l. Simply plug in the value of pi as 3.14, r as 3 inches and l as 7 inches. We get the curved surface area of a cone as 65.94 square inches. Now let's move to pyramids. Let's first of all look at the volume of pyramid. It is basically one third of the product of area of base and the measure of the height. That means that the volume of a pyramid is simply 1 by 3 times L times B times H where L times B represents the area of a rectangular base while H represents the height of the pyramid. Now let's see this question. 
Over here we need to find the volume of this given pyramid whose length is equals to 6 inches while width is equals to 4 inches and the height of this pyramid is equals to 8 inches. Now we know that the area of a rectangular base will be simply 6 times 4 that is 24 square inches. Now volume of a pyramid is given as 1 by 3 times L times B times H. Simply plug in the value of L times B as 24 and H as 8. So we get the volume of pyramid as 64 cubic inches. Now let's move to surface area of pyramid. Surface area of a pyramid is basically divided into two parts. First is lateral surface area. Lateral surface area of a pyramid is half times the perimeter of base times the side length. While total surface area of a pyramid is simply lateral surface area plus the area of the base. Which means that total surface area of a pyramid is half times perimeter of base times the side length plus the base area. Next we have is triangular prism. Let's first of all look at the definition of volume of triangular prism. It is basically the product of the area of the base and the measure of the height. Now over here the base is basically triangular in shape. So area of a base is simply 1 by 2 times L times B while the height of a triangular prism is H. So we can say that the volume of a triangular prism is half times L times B times H. Now let's look at this question. Here we need to find the volume of a triangular prism whose length of the base is 5 feet and the width of a base is 6 feet and height of this triangular prism is equals to 4 feet. Now we know that the volume is simply area of a triangular base times the height of the prism. Let's first of all find the area of a triangular base. That will be simply half times 5 times 6 which is 15 square feet. Now multiply this 15 square feet by 4 feet. We get 60 cubic feet. So that means that the volume of this triangle of prism is simply 60 cubic feet. So this brings us to the end of this topic. Goodbye and see you later.